Ladies and gentlemen, I put a, I'm gonna put a bid in on this house. I'll tell you why and I'll make it brief. I've made two previous videos. The view is a multi-million dollar view, number one. This is the view from every window in the house on the uh, east and the south side of the house. Also, you get a great breeze right off the, right off the uh, ocean. At low tide, uh, there's a, a very gray, very soft matter that's underneath the house that you can't walk on. But if you do, you sink in about 18 inches. But, but at high tide, you can just toss the kids right out the back door on a piece of styrofoam. Why do I want this house? Well, I'm going to tell you something. If I, if I could, I'd buy this entire neighborhood. This is going to be the next up-and-coming neighborhood in Bahal, Tagbalar and Bahal. And here's the reason why. There is the fresh fish market. Now they have, they just put this new vegetable stand in. People are investing big amounts of money in this area. Buying Buntag! They're investing big amounts of money in this area. Now this house has a lot of advantages to it. They put a new roof on to increase the value of the house. It's not it's not going to interfere with the price that much, maybe $5,000. But what I want to show you about this house is something that you, the big advantage of this house is it's going to be right here. See right there? What you're looking at right there? See that fish? That fish is holding, binding, binding those ropes together. And those ropes go directly to the house. And there's more ropes going into the dogget on an angle. And on the other side, there's more ropes in the back. Those ropes keep the house steady during typhoons. This work has already been done and proven to be a viable benefit for the house. So what I'm going to do is just go out. You can also catch fish right off the back here. You could just throw your fishing pole right. One problem is that at high tide, you have to be on the top bunk because uh, at high tide, water gets into that floor about 12 inches on a full moon high tide. Buen tag, amigo. At high tide, water goes into that house about 12 inches on a full moon. And that's good because it's going to reduce the value of the house. So... Let's, uh, comes with, uh, comes with clotheslines, ready? And uh, I want to tell you another advantage, two more advantages while we're at it. Um, one of the biggest advantages is the water lines that you see in the canal right there, in the dogget right there. Those water lines are not buried underneath the street, so you don't have to worry about a truck running over the water lines and destroying your water lines. They are, they are renovating most of these houses here, but this is the one I want because this one, you can never block the view. Here, between here and there, is an empty lot right here. Someone could build right here and block my view if I buy that property. If I had a lot of money, I'd buy this whole row here. Now, I want to show you something else. All the uh, work that's being done locally, all the work here, they're putting in new restaurants, they're putting in new uh, eating, food establishments. Mayan Buntag. Salamat. They're putting in eating and food establishments all up and down this road. And right there, if you're a church going person, right there is the biggest church in Bahal. Uh, you can just walk to church on a Sunday morning. Mayan Buntag. You have a nice day. Yeah. You look guapo. Yeah. Guapo. Salamat. Whoa. Hello. Hello. Got to watch those steps. So they're building all of these little stores 
Last year, there very few of these stores were here. No, no, thank you. Salama, thank you very much. Lakau, Lakau. They put a new store over here since last year. Look, they got new, new refrigerators, new refrigeration. They're getting ready to make another eatery here. So you don't, if you're not, if you don't like cooking per se, they have uh, five restaurants on just this little strip between the house and the church. Now, I have uh, an appointment at one o'clock with the real estate agent. I told you I was looking to another piece of property. And uh, that's it, if things work out well. Now there is also one of the highest, highest end restaurants in the Philippines, in Bahal, I mean, right here, the Casa Gennaro. This is one of the highest, classiest restaurants in the Philippines, and it's only 200 feet from my back, or well, my future back door. Now where I'm going now, is I'm going to Samsung, because no one answers their phone, I have to go to the stores directly. Nine stores, nine phone numbers, nine people do not answer the phone, or the phone is busy because they, they left it off the hook. And uh, it does not make me a happy camper, but... I had to be here today anyway to meet the real estate agent. Okay. So this is the back of the big church in Tagbalaran. You have a direct staircase straight to uh, the church facility. Look at the way the people that uh, work in the church, look at the view they have from up there. Wow, that's majestic. What a majestic view. So this is the entrance to Tagbalaran City and right where the bridge starts is where my, uh, I'm gonna meet the real estate agent. Now oh, there is something I wanna show you right on the other side of this property. Oh God, it doesn't say you know, in America, they used to have a, a thing. I don't think they do it anymore. But one of the things they did in America was uh, how many people were injured or hurt because of well, some sort of problem with the street or not obeying the food, uh, the the, the speed limits and I want to show you something that if I had a decent phone years ago I would have showed you but I'll show it to you today this is probably the most hazardous turn maybe in the world probably not but definitely the most hazardous turn in the city of Tagbalaran and we're, gonna, we're coming up to it now now, if you can notice, notice the hillside. That goes down 70 feet, and there's a beautiful path that I'm not gonna take now, but you can walk right down to the water's edge. There's really nothing down there to see other than um, sunken vessels. So, what I wanna show you is uh, you're, you don't get a second chance on this turn. It's just a one-shot deal. If you make the mistake with a tricycle or a car or a jeepney or a walking or a bicycle, oh my God. If you make that, look at this guy. Buntag! If you make the mistake of making this turn a little bit wide my friends you will end up at the bottom all right i guess i i guess this is about about 80 feet not 60 or 70 feet 
Look at this. Look at this, baby. Look at this. Look at the way that barricade has been pushed out over the years. This is amazing. Living in the Philippines every day, I am more and more amazed. And that's definitely 100 feet. Let's see, that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 75 feet. 75 feet. Look at this. This is big enough for an entire tricycle. <laughs> ah, motorcycle, bicycle. <laughs> Look at this. And, 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 and the funny part about this. Look at the size of this thing. It's five feet. There's a five foot hole in the room. One tag. Yo, yo. Those are my, that's my jeepney. Um, look where it is. Look where that uh, deviation in the road barrier is. It's 50 feet from the uh, Tag Balaran, city government of Tag Balaran parking violations where they put the, uh, this is where you come and pay if someone puts a clamp on your car. This is the uh, building that you come to, to pay your, uh, I think it's 800 pesos. So, and this is where they keep the truck. My tag. they keep the municipality trucks here. There's the clamp truck right there. So, the clamp truck, where you'll usually see, they have two or three of them. They're very busy, 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 busy business. But that's where that road hazard is. And, more importantly is it's right it's if you do if you do have the misfortune if you have the misfortune of falling into that road hazard that's right over there the fire department the tag Aaron city fire department is there for the rescue there for the rescue and you only have seconds to wait once somebody uh makes the 9-11 call. So here is the Samsung office that I'm going to, if it's open. Yes, it is. Okay. I will find out right now. My in Uh I want to buy a. a cell phone, sir? I want to buy a cover. Ah, copy cell phone, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Mayan Buntag. Yes, sir. You would be the one to help me. Yes, sir. Looking. For okay, Mayan Buntag. What's your name? Glenn, sir. Glenn. Yes. You guapo. Yeah. Thank you. No, uh, I saw by end. <laughs> All right, Glenn. Do you have the the good cover for the uh, for the S twenty one? Yes, I can. Uh, no. Why do you sell the phones in all the stores, but nobody has the cover? Why? It's all, it's all why? No, no, no. That's a serious question. Why do you have? Why do you sell the phones in every store, but no cases? Why? Do you wish for the phone to break so people buy new ones? Is that the idea? Do you know of any store that has the cell phone cases? What? Online only, sir. Online? Yeah, Shopee. It could be one month before no, you. Like, like two weeks. Which, what store? Shopee. Lazada. Shopee? Yeah. Lazada? Huh. Sometimes I wait five weeks and they cancel the order. So you don't know of a store yeah. in Tag Balaran, right? Yes, sir. No, no other stores? Yeah, I don't know, sir. Uh, try ICM. You try ICM. Uh, I've been calling this store for two weeks. You don't answer the phone. We don't have, sir. Only the S20 Plus, sir. Does it fit this? No, it's like it's different. But you don't answer the phone when I call the phone no, here. No, we, we're not in charge, sir. Only the safe and learn staff. Ah, uh, they passed the buck. 
You don't answer the phone. I've been calling this store for two weeks. Nobody answers the phone, Glenn. You have no phone? What phone did you call What? 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 Uh, because here's is your number 2977? You, this is the main store? Yes, sir. You're 2977? 2977, You don't know your phone number? Okay, so, but, but either way, I've called every save and earn, every save and earn in Tag Balaran, every one. Nine, nine. Nobody answers the phone ever. She doesn't care. What? Every time that phone rings, we all, we... I've been calling your number for, for two weeks. N nobody answers. Every time that phone all right. Rings. Okay. All right. I don't believe you. Okay? Thank you. I've been calling every number. Thank you. Salama. I've been calling every phone... Every Samsung office in Tagbalaran, nine stores for two weeks. Nine stores for two weeks. And never once has anybody ever answered the phone. Every phone is either busy or they don't answer. Do you believe that they don't have a case for, the, for a 70,000 peso cell phone? 70,000 pesos. They don't have a case. No, no stores in Tag Balaran. Nothing. Zero. Has a case, a quality case, for the Samsung cell phone. And then when that lady said, call Lazada. Now, you've already heard my videos about Lazada. Impossible to get an order from Lazada. 19, 19 items. 19 items, 19 items, 19 items, 19 items, 19 items. I ordered from Lazada, and I think I got eight items, but one was two of the same thing. So of the 19 items I ordered from Lazada, in seven weeks, I received eight of the 19 orders. That's less than half. And these are what they recommend. So I'm gonna tell you something. I'm not kidding around about this. Joke. I'm not being a jerk. I'm telling you people that wanna to move to the Philippines, you can go online and look up every single cell phone store that sells Samsung in Bahal, Tag Balaran, and you yourself can call them up. And if someone answers the phone, it would be the first time in two weeks. So that is why they, where and how they get the expression. Welcome to the Philippines, baby. Welcome to the Philippines.